But uh, are the songs that the colored people sang were better than the songs that the white people sang? Uh, did you like the songs better? Did you like the way Negro people sang them better? No, I tell you. Now, I'll tell you one thing. A white man can't sing a song like a nigga. <laughs> Just can't do it. It's up in his head. He ain't heard that stuff. I heard a nigga tell a white man once. He said, uh, he asked him, what did you, what did you get out of this Saturday night thing? He said, what did you get out? I said, yeah. He said, man, you get that trying to be a nigga one night. You get that trying to be a nigga one night, you, you was going to be a nigga down to days. <laughs> he said, why? He said, get the best curriculum out of Saturday night job in, in the world. Rather be a nigga Saturday night. I said, what is you a nigga? Don't fool, you all be all too crazy. You worst thing in the world. Now I'm sorry, my nigga. <laughs> He was, he was giving niggas something to eat. Now, when year of eight, two, the government had given niggas some vision, you understand, see? And he didn't know how to give niggas enough something to eat, you understand? And so he come from New Orleans, and he two in the overflow, and bought a steamboat freight. So the bin had landed at the Ursina store at the levee, and had almost right there for these niggas. <laughs> yes. Give it to them. We just have nothing in the world. Well, you, uh, uh, you started to tell me about the instruments that were in this string band. String band used to play for the dancers at the cottage. Yeah, Center. well, uh, he had the biggest violin and the guitar, two guitars, and bass violin and solo bass violin and second, first and second beat violin. And the boy had a fife. A fife? Yes, he had a fife. And they played those things too. And they waited, they played them. Uh, 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 you can't think of any things they played, can you? No, sir. No, sir. But they, they played those things. They really played them. How did they learn to play the to play those instruments? Well, they had an old fellow there named Old Man Count. Old Man Count, little boy, had to old railroad cob. Old railroad cob? No, he's a cob. Oh. Probably down on our home base there named Count. <laughs> you know, here's two boys and two from other boys. Had that string band, you understand, see? The old boy, he'd be playing all through the night. Wake up at night and be practicing, playing. We'd be going, going busy, you understand? But they boy be playing at his house, you know, by Cameron's house. Mm. And they by in Georgia, you understand? But when you got there, if they have a big something, why they go on the place there, why they send them to come over and play for them. <laughs> they have a dance that night, you know, have a big time. Cotton picking, something like that. It's too bad you can't remember those pieces because they. Oh, no, I can't like think of those things. Well, I, see, my answer was in brass band stuff, you know. My answer was in brass band stuff. <laughs> see, I was like brass band. I played brass band myself. Uh, what, uh, what, uh, what instruments did you have in the brass band? Oh, I had them all. I had the two cornets. E flat, B flat, so alto, first and second alto, two tenors, baritone, bass, and second bass. B flat bass, E flat bass, two drums and fast cymbals. Mm -hmm. And we had time. Did, did they have any homemade uh, instruments when you were there? People who could blow a bottle or blow a pipe, blow, blow a pump pipe or blow a bottle and that sort of thing? Oh, I had a fellow that was, I had a fellow when I could look through a, through a bottle. Mm -hmm. Play a that bottle. Play with? You want to tune that bottle, that tune. <laughs> I had a fellow that once could play, play, uh, play a cane, play a cane. Play a cane, make him a fight, make him a cane. And they make notes like a man on, on a horn. Make a fingers. Make notes just like a man on a horn. Yes, sir. We can make his fingers. That cane. I love yesterday, little thing, because I have my mind on, on the music. Mm -hmm. I want to learn the music itself. And I learned it too. I really learned it. So you weren't interested much in these homemade things. No, sir. Uh, you 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 gonna play your I played brass band. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, and I play a thing now. <laughs> I can I can play fourth watch right now. You can play play which? Fourth watch? Fourth watch? Yes, sir. Not guilty? Play right now. Mm -hmm. I can do. Because in my head, you understand, she got the <laughs> part of me, see. I played in two bands at home. A little boy down there, Marsh had a band, I had a little boy, and I knew that stuff down there from them, them folks down there. I learned up here. Went to school and learned it. All come. I went there one, two years. You did? Yes, sir. Professor down there. James Burr. Professor Burris, yes. Burr. Professor Burr. Uh, Professor Burris is from Fish. Fish and Burr, that's right. Yes, sir. Fish and Burr. Now, they all come on first status in that book then now, in your history. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, who taught music to all come then? George Comfort. George Comfort? George Comfort. <laughs> he was in Port Gibson. He had a sister named Matt Riller. She could play a horn, too. She was a bad horn player. Mm -hmm. She really played. All the girls just in uniform, understand the best man. 
Just call me to the to the dining hall. We had a big time. We leave from dining hall. Everybody do his own classroom. Mm-hmm. That's big time. Well, man, boy's brother, he's a professor of mathematics. And another fellow there, he's a professor of, of uh, agriculture. So that could might not think he's supposed to do that too. Well, why did you stop school? Well, my old father died. I come home. Mm-hmm. He died again. He got sick and died again. I had to come home. Mother. Did, uh, did you farm here ever? Did you just work around in the town? No, sir. So I farmed two years after so I married. Wife found some children. I found a little in them. Mm-hmm. And I lost some wife. Mm-hmm. No, necessarily me farming. And we got children. We them children before they get out of danger. Got them up grown. I just let alone. Those well, children go out and look for themselves. I just got to be going, you know what I'm saying, I know turn about loose by itself, and their mother was crazy about it. Uh, do you think that uh, the songs that the colored people sang were better than the songs that the white people sang? Uh, did you like the songs better? Did you like the way Negro people sang them better? You no, know, I tell you. Now, I'll tell you one thing. A white man can't sing a song like a nigga. <laughs> Just can't do it. It's up in his head. He ain't look at stuff. I heard a nigga tell a white man, mother. He said, uh, he asked him, what did you, what did you get out of this sad night thing? He said, what did you get? I said, yeah. He said, man, you get that turn to be a nigga one night. You get that turn to be a nigga one night, you, you won't be a nigga a thousand days. <laughs> he said, why? He said, get the best curriculum out of Saturday night job in, in the world. Let's be a nigga Saturday night. I said, what are you a nigga? Don fool, you ought to be crazy. <laughs> What's in the world? Now, I'm sorry, I'm a nigga. <laughs> uh, you started to tell me about this band that uh, Jefferson Davis organized for his slaves. Yes, he also had bands for the Negro, and Davis has been on the plantation. And uh, he hired a man in Vicksburg named Charles Morgan to teach them boys music. And he taught those boys music. They got so they could play. They escorted him from Lennon up home in a wagon and marched up being in the hack. And his band was playing for him going and coming. And uh, after they got so they could play, he bought him a uniform. And he named that band, the Davis Bend Band. That's called Air White Went. How many pieces were how many, how many pieces were in the band? Yeah, fourteen. Fourteen men in the band. Fourteen men. What kind of music did they play? Do you remember any of the pieces they played? Oh Lord, yes, indeed. No, I played myself. I played Grand National, Fourth Watch, East Richmond, Mount Rose, Dream On, See the Bird to His Mountain, Not Guilty. Band favorite, I'm a soldier, found quick step, all that kind of stuff. We feel happy at myself. Name some more, if, if, if you remember any of them. Mm-hmm. Let's see, Dream On. Let's see, Dream On. Did, did you ever play this piece, Dixie, that was so popular? Dixie, oh, yeah, I played Dixie. Yeah, I played Dixie. And played now. <laughs> and, uh, Flowers Flock. And, I don't know the piece I played. I'm a soldier, I think it was. And, uh, well, did you, uh, you all didn't play any uh, plantation songs? No, sir. Played street music itself. They got music. They just got some pepper. And Lion Healy. And George Tuffer. That's where they got music. They got a band from Lion Healy in Chicago. Well, did the other uh, slaves on the plantation sing any of the plantation songs? The Sing in the fields and sing around the place. Did you ever sing in the yard for him when you had visitors, anything like that? Well, the kids would sing some little funny things, you know, around there and dance and all that, got you know. They, they, they had a little play, used to play down there, play uh, Scripture of Sam, you understand? Dance like a bottle. Sit down over there, you know, and they dance over, you know, called Scripture of Sam. Everybody dance Scripture of Sam, they ring play, you know. And uh, if they'll dance, he's time to dance over that bottle, he'd dance with a bottle, you didn't have a bottle, you'd break. Sit up, you understand? And they'd play that song around that place and they'd sing Scoop to Sam and dance with that bubble or that brick. Well, do you remember any of the words of Scoop to Sam? No, I don't recollect those words now. Wish I could recollect them. Been so long. And I had, we had a little song you sang too. You're going to live it. Yes, I am. It's shooting stocks in man. Do you know that? No, I don't know. That's the first way I think about things. Do you remember any of the other lines of it? No, sir. No, sir. Well, uh, did, did you all have any dances at that time, or had you all had you joined the church? Yeah, we had dances. 
Yeah, they had dancers. They had dancers, you know, this, this, this quad, quadruple. They had dance, uh, 32 on sets and, and 24 on sets. They had this thing called Prime Major Partner. And dance with your partner like that. Then Prime Major Swing. All that kind of stuff, you understand, see? And, uh, you can find your partner, you find it to the bar. He had a bar, you know, where they bought candy and so on, like that, you know, and apples and oranges, you understand? He came apart and spin a dime or a quarter on buying candy. I cook something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Never had no soda water, you understand? Mm -hmm. They had, uh, lemonade made in the barrel. Mm -hmm. He had no, nothing like soda water then. No more soda water. Did you all sing any songs at those dances while you were doing the quadrille and the promenade? No, you didn't sing. You had to think about dancing and you know, did you have anybody called figures? Oh, yes, indeed. Yeah, so I had a fellow, yeah, he played my band's called figures, so named Hicks Singleton. He did now. He was naturally a smart fellow. He was about my age, he was a jolly fellow. He knew all that kind of stuff, he that dancing stuff, you know. I never was a dancer. I would play myself in the music. I like music. Uh, did, did you play for these dances? Oh, did yes, yeah. Yes, sir. Well, what year did you leave the, uh, leave Davis's band? Davis's band? Left there's been the year of 84. Mm -hmm. There's been connected from Vicksburg. And we come near Vicksburg and stayed there till 87. The connected get in touch with, with Major McGinnis, his father in law, who was one of the two by the railroad company. He's a white man, you understand, see? And give him this part of this land where he could dig out of here and make a new set of his Negroes. And they got in the company and got this land. And I came with me, another boy named Sheldon Allen, his father, his stepfather, rather, and my father, Peter Montgomery. They had come to country, you understand? And uh, you know, this land, you understand? See, in, the, in, in up to December, in January, they moved the two times here. Children added his mother was the first one to cook bread here. Cook bread here in 87 on a stump. Well, they did have Cook bread on a stump. I never get bread, never get bread. In July 12th, yeah, even we come up from Vicksburg up here, golf train had miracle. Walked up here, you understand? And it, what it mean, they had made some staves, cross ties. They took a slab, split them up, and made a shack. And that evening, she cooked that bread on the stump, that put to the shack, right out there, out of the stump. She made a big fire, we made a big fire for her, and uh, put both coals, put it on the stump, and put the skillet on there, you understand? Put the lid on the skillet, and put the coal on top of the lid, and we got bread. And we got the first bread, that needed seven. How many years that been? 54 years. 54 years. 54 years last July. Yes, sir. And I pulled a chain through this country for five years. That line out there, run that line there, run your side six mile leg. I put that chain in the 88. And that, on that side, on the real road there, I put that line in 87. Went to a Sunflower River, across the river. And I'll tell you, your side six mile leg. Now, that line, Major Fontaine, the chief engineer, told me, said, this line, was run by the government of years, a hundred years ago. See, now uh, you'll find different designs and different trees you go along this line. You gotta be cut and find those lines, find those stumps. We go in a tree and I found a, a government mark in a tree, granted with some axes, and found a bottle in the tree. And all the people went in that bottle and they couldn't either get design off that paper and put it on this book, you understand? Where it was, I wouldn't be in I cut the tree, you understand, see? And we put another chip back in that tree. That tree just cut out here, you'll pull there. Yes, sir. Now that line runs from Atlanta to Silicon. Doesn't stop. Every county has the state has its own survey. Yes, I got own survey. That line down there run all this land from here to Shelby, she all that land. From here to Marigold, she all that land. Cut McCain, Savannah, I ain't no king on that. Just just vain for us to buy. Pull the team of cutting out there. Major Pontaine. Major Pontaine was the chief engineer. Well, how many uh, families were here the next year? Next year? Oh, we got we had about fifteen families the next year. Just about fifteen families. Next year. We had about fifteen families come here, but they've been flying the next year. They come here advertising, you understand, getting people to come here. Come from the whole country in the South, you understand, see? Come now they have them come by by litter and by advertising people. A new people, you understand. He had the people that at the trip like that, you know. He sent them all around through the country. They all come here on account of night. He knew what he was trying to do. Come all the folks land. Come to Davis Bend, where we left Davis Bend, they all come to Bend and come across the river at Newtown, you know, the edge of the hills from Vicksburg, come right to Cotton Island because they know what he's trying to do. Give them all a home. And they bought that land, and it's gone though now. Land here, the post gone.
Yes, sir. Well, when, when would you say that you had your greatest prosperity here? Greatest prosperity in life we had here when Cousin I.S. Reader lived in Charles Banks and John Fancy. They were the life of Mount Bar. And since they're gone, why, Mount Bar's gone. There's no backbone. There's no backbone in, in this curriculum here at all. You need somebody to get in front. They, every, every gang has a need to have a leader. Every gang of chickens got to have a leader. Well, they got no leader in understand. So you need leadership. That's what they ain't got. Well, did you form a band when you came here to Mount Bio? Yes, sir. We had two bands here. Two best men. Yes, sir. And the first teacher that band we had, a fellow from my home, played in the same little band down home there. He's a young fellow. Then Webster. He played in the band down there when I was quite being able to play in the band. I go with the band, you understand? And uh, he, when he came up here, you understand? He said, well, let's get the bands, all right. And we saved a little money, and we sent the line here in Chicago, and bought a band on part on credit, saying fifty dollars, and give a chance to pay for it, you understand? See? And we bought that band and started playing, started learning how to play good music. I kind of knew it a little, and he knew it already. And right on, we just learned to have a good band. He had band fourteen boys, and the other boys were working Steve and ties like that. I was pulling the chains through the swamps so vain we couldn't hide here, but I never get music. And I've got that band out, it plays along. I come to run the saloon there, we'll see that old man Ben Green. The next band I had is running that saloon, I had that band packed in there, in the saloon. My wife run the saloon with whiskey. I was going to take my young band in there, you understand? Take that band to a year a few years ago. That band's all gone now. Well, what sort of pieces were you playing about 1890? Do you remember? Oh, I played the same piece we played down yonder. I learned the very same music. Very same music. 10th, 12th grade music. I learned it. I had a piece. Yeah, the white band gave me Cleveland. They couldn't play it. And they gave it to me. And I come up here and took my band and played it. And came out and played it to them. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Played it to them. I never get the man's name. The man gave me his name, Squire Johnson. He was a snap jump beater. But he was, he was the manager of the band. He gave me a piece of George. He piece me like, we can't play it. I'll give it to you all. And he gave it to me. But if he had to play it that week, it next week had to go to Cleveland or something or other. And played it to them down there. Man. What was the name of that? Only you quick march. On you. On you, quick march. No kid. The hardest piece of music. On you, quick march. Eve Cake Walk was the hardest thing I ever played in my life. What, what is that? On Eve Cake Walk. Eve Cake Walk? Yes, the hardest thing I ever played in my life. Felt great stuff. Yes, sir. Tend that thing but tongue and finger. Yes, sir. It all practice solo. Every bit of solo. I never played a side all my life. I played a tuba and a cornet. I can play them now, come a teeth, one bed, two bed. Yes, sir. Do you have, uh, did, did you all have a dance hall here at Mount Bio? Used to, yes, sir. <laughs> have a dance hall. A nice dance hall. We had a dance hall in the little stairs out of Sunday Light, down the street, down that piece. Our Sunday Light got burnt down by a train one day, couldn't leave it. We had both spots on, on the chain on top of the roof, dry. And such a fire, couldn't put that. Yes, he managed to get some out tools out of that lodge, and that's all we done. And that's the only thing got the burn up in there. It's a nice hole. Nice fun hole. Downstairs, I had dancing white concert in there. We upstairs, that bone's amazing. Might be able to Well, what do you think of a town like this? Do you, do you think that colored people can run a town like this? They can, but they ain't here now. <laughs> they ain't here now. You can't get a. A cost tie, if you ain't got timber, you got to have timber to get the cost tie. You can't get a bull or a shingle unless you got timber to make it out of. It's, it's, it's a timber rotten, a dirty, a worm bitten, worm hole in it, it won't do. You take a bull that's full of worm holes, it won't do going out of his leak. I love everybody, <laughs> he's down in my heart. Amen, amen, amen. Lord, you know I love my preacher. Deep down in my heart, Lord, you know I love my preacher. Deep down in my heart, Lord, you know I love my preacher. Deep down in my heart.